Hi, everybody. I'm Zilla Blitz, and welcome to episode four in our continued campaign with SGS Okinawa, where we've taken on the U.S. forces invading the island of Okinawa in World War II. Now, the end of episode three ended rather abruptly in the middle of turn eight on the 15th of April, 1945. Our U.S. forces are trying to take the northern half of the island, fighting in a desperate battle for Iwo Jima and trying to break through a log jam in the middle of the island to get access to the southern half of the island. Let's jump right into the battle portion of turn eight in this episode. We're continuing on, picking up where we left off from episode three. Let's jump right in and get things going. This one's actually interesting to start out. Monotoba Peninsula, let's take a look and see how that goes. Oh, so they have some, some units here and it's a 75% chance of winning. Militia, militia, militia. You know, we have a lot of cards. Let's use them because I, I feel like we kind of might as well use them here. So we'll play artillery support and that's it. Because we, we're going to be discarding ones we're not using anyway. All right. So here we go. Bombard. Let's see if we can get this. Yes. We hit the militia right away. Artillery. Nope. Mines are going to blow up. Oh, let's make some progress here. Now the fight starts though. Let's go. Let's get these guys. Yes. Good hit. Japanese Empire routed. Mobile units retreat. Victory. And I don't know where they can go. So... Maybe we've captured Monotobo Peninsula. I'm going to click the next ones and we'll pull up the interesting ones as they show up here. This is one of the battle forces that are defending the northern region here, Ishikawa North. Let's see if we can get them. They're just militia and they're badly depleted from earlier battles. Victory United States, I think we wiped them out. So that's good. Excellent. And here is our other battle going on towards the northern half of the island. Looks like an 87% chance of victory. Let's save our cards here. Hopefully we got mines and militia. We've got two battalions attacking. Good, our uh, artillery did a good job on it. Mines explode, but hopefully we'll be able to get them. All right, let's finish them off. There we go, good, victory United States. That's good. Now our beach landing's on EA Jima. Let's see how we do here. Looks like a 90% chance of victory. We'll take that. We've got pillboxes, a small bunker, and mines. Not much in the way of defending on the beaches here. So hopefully we can knock them out. Good, they're suppressed, I think. Mines explode. Start the battle here. We don't have a lot of time to waste here. Small bunker, come on, keep going, guys. Let's take out that bunker and pillbox. Excellent, still left, we gotta go, come on. Take out the small bunker. Yes, got it, victory United States, we are ashore. Let's check out the other side of the island here. Small bunker, pillbox, pretty much the same thing, right? Only a 79% chance of victory there. Well, let's take our chances. I, I, I hope we're going to be okay. We, we do have to save some of our better cards for what I'm sure is going to be the, the southern half of the island there. This is not looking so good. We might... Oh, ooh, heavy casualties landing here. Might have been a mistake not to do that small bunker holding up. Come on, guys. Let's get them. Pillbox. Victory, Japanese Empire. Ah! So we did not make our beach landings there. Got pushed back. Ugh! That's that's disappointing, but okay, we'll we'll have to solve it there. So all in all, we have captured Monotobo Peninsula up here. We do have some stragglers to pick up there that we'll have to kind of fight through there. We wiped out those Japanese forces there, so we're going to push down to North Okinawa and Kin in the next turn. If we click on our objectives and who owns what, we're doing pretty well on the northern half of the island here. And I have scattered out a couple of battalions. So I've got some uh, army battalions up here, army battalion moving back over here. I wanna try to create maybe a, a regiments worth of battalions scattered out over the northern island. So if we do get more of those boetai that kind of just pop up in, the, in, the, in our way here, we'll be able to kind of take care of them without having to figure out how which forces are going to divert from the front lines so we're going to skip our air defense move yep because i think we're good there oh nice select two air units to repair replay to full strength excellent because we have two depleted here down to three so we'll do that one and that one i think that makes the most sense okay thank you that's great replacements i'm not sure that we're going to do that let's see if we've got here oh this unit here took heavy casualties let's give them because they're down to 50 percent strength let's burn one there anything else that needs to be replaced ones all around here twos oh this one's a four let's get that replaced good so 
We burned up our replacements this time. The fighting's starting to get thick and heavy here. Skip that. Turn end. Turn eight is done. Japanese Empire, what tricks will they play now? They've been relatively passive, I think, except for that turn where we had the Boetai units pop up. Card draw. Let's see what happens now. Land movement. Ah! Those pesky Japanese are behind Monotobu Peninsula. We're going to have to chase them down. You can see them moving. One supply unit arrives in the floating reserve. Okay. I'm not sure they're so valuable. Ah, so they went that way. So now we got to go find them. Okay. Anyway, card draw. We're done with that. Reinforcements. Get anything here? Supplies. One supply unit arrives in the floating reserve depot. No, we don't need any of that stuff yet. So let's uh, pass on the cards. Go to air and naval bombardment. Only one kamikaze hit. That's good. And now we'll allocate that. Our goals again, we're going to have to try to really make more progress on Iejima here. And we're going to kind of mop up the resistance on the north part of the island. It's turn nine now. We got to clean this up because I don't know where these guys are running to. There's definitely something in here. So we're going to have to chase them down. And we have to push on to North Okinawa and Kin. So we'll do that. Got this pocket to clean up here, and maybe even we'll be trying to launch an assault here because we do have a do have a pretty good collection here of marine. These marines and no, these are army forces, I think, right? Yeah, so we have some pretty good collection of army forces here that we can send, and we have been pounding. There's three Japanese infantry units in here, and we have been pounding them with air consistently day and night now for about a week and a half. So they are somewhat depleted here. I'm hoping we can push through and keep going. So I'll allocate air and naval bombardment, and then we'll be back. All right, air and naval bombardment allocated. We're going to try to hit the beachhead here again. We've got to get forces ashore here on the beach, and we're going to divert some of our uh, army forces here to try to take Iejima, the city here, so we can get back and resupply, because this is our last turn of being in supply, I think, from our beachhead. So this is a big attack down here. So we've diverted a good amount of air force, diverted a squadron here to get these stragglers that we knew kind of were escaping Monotobo Peninsula and trying to create havoc behind our lines here. And then a lot of air forces, uh, air, air assets here on these two positions, in particular this one in the middle here, because we have a, we have definitely have enough force to attack here. So we're going to try to hit this hard. And that's pretty much it for air and naval bombardment. Again, don't have ships here. Ah, so the amphibious ops, we lose casualties landing again because we unsuccessfully landed last time. Naval support. I keep I keep thinking something's off with this because it keeps telling us naval fire support targets missed, like random static, like we didn't allocate them. But if I look up here, I don't see naval out. They should be right here in this box. And if I right click, inside port, inside it, but there's there's nothing here. And there's nothing here. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I would expect we would have naval support here, but maybe they'll come back or something's happened. I'm not sure. Anyway, can't worry about that now. Let's go to our land movement phase now, and we will get busy allocating that, and then we'll talk. We'll take a look at our battles. Here. All right, so our land movement is done. We are painting the northern half of the island American blue here, or green at least. We did capture the town of Kin. We didn't have quite enough movement to make it to North Okinawa. We're tracking down these units that kind of escaped the Monotobo Peninsula. Hitting Iejima a little bit harder here. We're attacking the town here. Hopefully we can take that and diverting a little bit of our forces here to try to get these shore, these forces ashore. So hopefully our beach landing will succeed on this second attempt here. And then we are launching two attacks here against this line of defenses across the weaker part that isn't covered by the river here. A um, lot of air assets in play, so let's get this started. We're gonna have some big battles here. I'm gonna click through these and call our attention to the larger ones. Alrighty, here is one. So our big attack here going on these three Japanese infantry units, which we have pounded. They've suffered, I think they've all suffered some losses. 83% chance of victory. I think because we have five, 10 cards, we're gonna do one here. Let's do, we're gonna try a um, direct, so we'll try direct naval fire here. It kind of puts some more damage on them. So let's do that. We're gonna play some defender cards. They are tactical withdrawal. They ran away from us. Interesting. Okay, why? Not sure, That that's great. That gives us the spot. So we'll take it here, but Attacker cards. This one, we have a less of a chance. It's 80, 70, 77% chance of victory. But, I'm going to play another card here. Command, focus. Your side will fire first in battle. Yeah, let's do that one. We, we, I think we want to burn through some of these cards. All right. 
They are not withdrawing here. Now we have heavily bombed them. We can see that two of these units are down to 50% from our extended air campaigns here. Let's see if we can get lucky. We don't have too many forces on the ground here. Let's get going, come on. Air force is hitting, hitting, hitting. Okay, we hit another infantry unit. Heavy damage, but they're holding. Come on guys, let's get them. Ah, more casualties. I don't think we're gonna take this. Push it back. Japanese Empire routed, yes! Victory, United States. Nice, we're pushing through that line, that's good. Kamiyama, where is this? That's uh, just an air attack. We'll be back when something interesting happens. All right, we're trying to land on this beach again. Now we got 89% chance of success and we are diverting some forces that already landed to try to attack as well. So hopefully we can have four battalions take out some mines in the small bunker. Oh, come on guys, let's go. These are, there we go. Japanese Empire is routed. Good, pursuit round. All that's left is mines. So we're just chasing mines, I guess. Okay. Iejima Village, this is a big one. We need this one. Attacker cards, oh, 51% chance. Let's, yeah, break out the flamethrowers here. We're gonna do it. We're burning through some cards here, but I feel like we, oh, this is a tough battle here. Okay, nice. We hit the sandbag bunker, defeat, hit some infantry units. This is, it's gonna be tough though. We're gonna make real, oh, retreated there. So we're so, this is some pretty heavy fighting here in Iejima. Wow, both sides suffering some pretty significant casualties here. Victory United States? Did they retreat? Nice. Yes, we've taken Iejima, the city. Excellent. That's good. Now we know they retreated and they still have pretty strong forces here. So a lot of work still to be done to take this small island. I kind of like it how it's cool. It's like you have this little mini battle within the large um, Air Okinawa campaign. So. We have a little bit left to take North Okinawa. Let's play one more turn here, see if we can take North Okinawa and see if we can make more progress on the island here. But we did push past these defenders here in the central part of the island. If we turn this off, we've got forces past this line. I'm hoping now we've got troops coming in behind them. Maybe we can keep pushing and go behind these troops and cut them off and maybe eliminate them without having to attack them head on across that river. So that's our rough, let's make it up as we go along plan. Let's uh, go to the next turn here. So the Japanese are attacking us here on our beachhead. That's not good. Do we want to attack? We're outnumbered three to one. It's the only thing we do is tactically withdraw first. Ah, I feel like we're gonna get hit hard here, but hopefully we can route them in the next turn. Let's tactically withdraw. Because we have the town, so I think we can use that for supply. So I think we're okay there. So I'd rather fight them when it's to our advantage. So, let's go there. Ernie Pyle killed. Oh, that's right. The Pulitzer Prize winner, American journalist and war correspondent, best known for his reporting on ordinary American soldiers during World War II. He died on Okinawa. He was killed by enemy fire on Iejima, then known, in I then known as Iejima. So that's why that explains the discrepancy during the Battle of Okinawa. So Ernie Pyle was killed as we attacked Iejima, the village there. That's sad. All right. Rumors. All units suffer. Oh, really? Rumors circulate about heavy losses in combat. All USA units suffer minus two morale this turn. We have to play that one, I'm sure. So card must be played yeah we're gonna play it that's that's not good because we want we need to take Iejima and need to push our advantage here but well what can you do sometimes you get dogs for cards right supplies depot and no, I think we're okay there let's drive on we'll do one more turn here see if we can take this so kamikaze hits and casualties this air and naval bombardment this kind of concerns me we lost our beachhead we are in supply here we're gonna have to crack down, I think, on those units there and really hit them hard. So let's allocate our air force here. All right, air assets largely deployed here against this, uh, the Japanese forces that retook our beachhead, Purple Beach 1 here on Iejima. And then we have also allocated a lot of air forces here. We're gonna to try to keep pushing these defenders back that we attacked last turn and then hitting these defenders that have stayed in place. Hopefully the plan here will be to push these defenders up along the coast while sliding in reinforcements behind this line of defenders here. And hopefully that way we can break out into this wider plane here. Also, I have diverted some significant air force uh, assets up here to the island, to the, to the beachhead north of Naha. And I think it's time for us to take our floating reserve here and to bring them to the beachhead and have them land. And I'm not sure if they can go in on that beachhead. I think perhaps they can. We'll figure that out, but not this turn. I want to clear the beachhead first. It'll probably be next turn or so. So I'm going to um, 
we'll go now and make our movement now. Naval support. Yeah, we know because there are no ships. Land movement. That's flashing. Okay, so we'll make our land movement and then execute our battles here. Alrighty, land movement finished. The battle's intensifying here. We have a major attack on this counter-attacking forces on the beachhead here. A lot of the regiments that, the battalions that attacked, that landed on the beachhead from the 77th Marine Infantry Division are attacking this beachhead again. We've got a lot of air support there. So that's going to be a big and critical battle for us. Then pushing down in here, I didn't attack these Japanese units here in Suma except with some air, tr air assets. And I misallocated the air assets in here, apparently. They didn't get there. Not quite sure what happened there. I'm not sure if we have some others floating around, but no, we don't. So that's unfortunate. We're going to attack just with the ground here, but we have a lot of troops pushing up to try to get this. We have sent battalions up past these defenders here to try to cut them off. They couldn't quite reach the coast, but I think they can get to the coast next time. And a major force here of U.S. Marines that I think can attack from the non-river crossing side here on this town here, Kamiyama, on the next turn. But other than that, on the northern half of the island, we're able to take North Okinawa uncontested. And I believe now we've taken all of our objectives in the northern half of the island that were slated to us. So that that's looking pretty good. And I've kind of scattered out some army uh, battalions across the area up here to kind of uh, be able to handle any boy tie units that pop up. But I think this is all U.S. controlled now, and I think that means we're going to stop those Japanese victory points from happening. I don't know how we're going to get Ryukyu Islands. It's kind of like out there, but I'm not quite sure what we do with that. But that wasn't part of, I think, our initial objectives here. Neither was this Atsingenjima. But we'll worry about that later. Let's kind of go to our last battles here, and I'll pull up the big ones as we go through them. This is big. This is our push inland here. So we have got a 90% chance of victory. We're going to save our cards because we depleted a lot of them. I feel like we're going to need some of those good ones later. A lot of air. Oh, we did have air assets there. Good. So that's good. I, I must have. I thought they weren't showing up, but they did. So we really want to hit these units hard. Not good there. Let's go, guys. Let's get them. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, excellent. Retreat. And we wiped out two battalions, it looks like. So that's good. And then here's Air Force. We'll come back to some other interesting battles as they come up. Here is our big beach attack. Now, again, it looks like our morale actually is pretty good here. It's five. So, and there's his three. But they have some pretty strong forces here. A lot of air assets. Here we go. Let's hit them. Good. Air Force doing some damage. And now let's get in there and see if we can wipe these guys out really need to win this one looks like it gives us a pretty good chance of victory we got one battalion out yes pursuit round nice so we have chased them out let's see what we can get them victory united states question is where they went to probably went to the island the air base there but that's good so inflicting heavy casualties it looks like we might be able to make one push here on iejima air defense move we're gonna skip that not move any units and replacements. We have been using up our replacements. I've been doing it a little bit off camera here because uh, we're starting to get beat up. So let's take a look here at our air assets, see if we want to replace them. Most of them depleted to some degree now. So casualties one for two. So our infantry forces engaging in heavier combat and suffering casualties here. But this all looks pretty good. One for two. We want to at least get three or more, I think. So that turn we escaped relatively unscathed there. So that's good. Turn end. Leave that there. Let's see what the Japanese do. I'm gonna get a card. Card draw. And I did leave a gap here that I was wondering if they might exploit. Oh, they did. They pushed across the river to attack this battalion with the Banzai attack. Morale plus three. Ah, oh, this is resilience. Unused. One hit is canceled in this battle. Oh, dear. Okay. Not good for us here. Start of battle. I bet we get pretty beat up. Do we want to retreat here? I feel like we do, right? I feel like we should just give them this. Not suffer the three to one casualties. And actually though, we're... Oh, minus two. Yeah, now we're getting out of here. Let's retreat. Yep. So we'll give them that and then we'll come back in force in the next turn here. They are attacking our single battalion here on Iejima too. They're somewhat depleted, but so are we. We might... Yeah, okay, we retreated. We'll give them that. So they're starting to get a little bit frisky here. So if we take a look at where those Japanese forces... Medics, yes, that's good and helpful. So they pushed up here and pushed us back. So this is up near, actually up near our original beachhead. But they gave up that defensive position and we have them surrounded. So I feel like that's kind of a... 
dubious move. I mean, I get why they did it, but it's good. It's kind of a desperation move, I think, for them. And it looks like these units might have pulled back from Tsuma as well. So conceding ground, perhaps, to allow us to start pushing through this isthmus here. And the Battle of Iejima still raging on here. They have taken the town. Ah, so we got to get it back. Otherwise, we're going to be out of supply here. We have beat up those units pretty bad, though. So I'm hopeful that if we divert some air forces here, we can recapture the town, get back in supply, and then finally finish off this airfield here. Um, so problems to solve. But that takes us through episode three. If we look at what we've captured, we've done, I think, pretty well so far. We've got the north half of the island pretty much under our control, starting to make ground through the isthmus here. I think very shortly we're going to try to land this reserve up here on these beaches here, if we can do that. Then we've got to still finish off Iejima here. This battle is raging back and forth. Not at all easy here. We lost Ernie Pyle as well, too. We'll be back in the next episode, episode four, with our goal to kind of push through this isthmus, open up another beachhead on the side of the island, and capture the rest of Iejima Island. Can we pull it off? Let me know how you think we're doing. Comments, ideas, suggestions, always welcome. We'll see you in the next episode. I'll put a link to it right here. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.